Hey guys, Lenny Roper here, and I just want to get this video out to let you know where I stand in this current situation and what I plan on doing from here. You most likely know this by now, but the world is in a really scary predicament. The coronavirus, or COVID-19 if you want to call it that, is currently ravaging through nations, spreading onto thousands of people, and killing many lives as well. Your education and jobs are probably on hold or even lost thanks to this, and you've most likely been ordered to stay at home. It's probably a sad time for you, as it is for all of us, but while this quarantining at home isn't very happy, it is ultimately necessary. The rate in which this virus is spread is downright alarming. We may not have the power to suppress it as of right now, and we probably won't have that power for a long time, but what we can do is minimize the number of casualties from it. If you believe the virus won't make you feel sick or kill you, then be more concerned with being a carrier rather than a victim. You might possess the virus and not even know it, and if you get careless, someone else can contract the virus and get sick. And none of us want that. That's why I'm telling you to stay at home as much as you can, and don't get too close to anyone in case either you or they have the virus. Through this way, we can save many people and give our local doctors the time they need to possibly find a solution to this. I want to remain positive throughout all of this and believe we'll find a way out of this mess. But the only way that hope can remain alive is if we take this virus seriously. We need to keep our hands clean and do things to stop the virus from reaching other people it could kill. If everything that has occurred because of the virus really gets to you, that is completely understandable. In fact, I feel really sad of many things that have happened from it too. But don't let it fully convince you that we're done for. There will come a day where we will return to our normal lives and do things we want to do without this high of a risk. I'm still hoping for that. But until then, we must take the necessary precautions we need to stop its spread. On a brighter note, this self-quarantine has given me more time to do some video work. My next countdown is almost done, just need to edit a few more segments, and I've also taken up a new video idea that I'll show off soon, though the people who follow me on Twitter might know what it is. I have a review slated for May 4th, I'm saving things up for my birthday countdown and another one, and afterwards I intend to temporarily take a break from countdowns so that I can do a review marathon. Yeah, in the later half of this year, I intend to review multiple games from the same series in multiple videos. I have four ideas for that, so I'll have a poll in the description below to let you guys tell me which one you'd be more interested in, so be sure to expect a new countdown and a separate new video relatively soon. I'm the Lightning Ripper. And please stay safe and keep your hands clean. We'll find a way out. And if you're hoarding toilet paper, please stop. Leave some for others.